Ben Mee believes Burnley have got back to being the Premier League's best party poopers. Pep Guardiola takes Manchester City to Turf Moor on Sunday hoping to take another step towards the Premier League title. But they are facing Burnley at a bad time as Sean Ditch's men have enjoyed a remarkable second half of the season which has seen them get back to doing what they do best. After a poor start to the campaign as they struggled in the Europa League qualifiers, they found themselves in the relegation zone after a 5-1 home defeat to Everton which proved to be the turning point in the season. He admits a players' meeting helped get them back on track towards their hard-working philosophy and being hard to beat epitomized by their gritty draw at Chelsea on Monday night when they secured Premier League survival. Their form since the turn of the year is remarkable and should serve as a warning to title Chasing City. They have taken 28 points, more than Chelsea and Tottenham out of their last 16 games which is top six form. Me, 29, said, we had that result against Everton, and that was a turning point. We realized we were really in trouble, got our heads together, and went on a really good run after that. We had a good chat amongst ourselves, we needed to get our heads down and go again. We knew what we had to do, get back to how we play, and I think we did that really well. It was a slow start to the season. We enjoyed playing the Europa League, but we've been playing catch-up a little bit, and now we've bettered Chelsea in the second half of the season. But we reacted really well, and it's been one of the best halves of the season I've been involved in. I think we had tried to play a bit more, we needed to get back to how we do things a little bit. We shouldn't be ashamed of how we play and how we do that. We try to make it difficult for whoever comes here and it will be difficult for the two big teams coming to our place, City and Arsena, and we're looking forward to it. Especially against the top teams, you have to give something different. You can't go out, play nice football, and let them play nice football against you. You can't expect us to roll over and say, here you go, have the three points. We're going to work hard, make it uncomfortable for them as possible, and we'll certainly do that against City. Burnley have become the template for every team trying to get promoted to the Premier League. They are well run, brilliantly managed by Sean Ditch, and are trying to evolve as a club. Last season they got into the Europa League, this time they are defying the odds again. Their magnificent training facility and picturesque Lancashire surroundings is proof they are taking strides as a club and me is also making his own improvement. His resilient man of the match performance at Chelsea on Monday typified what he and Burnley are about.
Me started at City as a nine-year-old, went on loan to Leicester, found his feet at Burnley, and it can be no coincidence that Michael Keane and then James Tarkowski became England internationals after playing alongside him. Getting an England cap is something me would love to achieve, but his immediate goal is perhaps even more remarkable. Premier League Ironman 2018-19 Only three players have played every minute for their club this season, 31-50 Mins, Conor Cody, Wolves, Ben Mee, Burnley, Luka Milivojevic, Crystal Palace, his target is to finish the season having played every minute of every game, having already done it 35 times in the Premier League so far. Me added, I want to complete every minute of the season this year which would be a really nice achievement for me. I think as I've grown older, I know how to manage my body as well, credit to the physios here who have been fantastic, and hopefully I'll get to do it. It'll be good to compete against these teams coming up. Man City, the best team in the league, they're going for it with Liverpool at the minor and these are the games where you compete and see where you're at as a professional. I've got a lot of friends still at City, sadly Bernard Halford passed away recently, and he was a really good bloke, top man at the club, and there's still some there. There will be plenty of family there, 